Okay, let's get one thing out of the way. I'm an Arcos fanboy. I love Arcos. I've played over 300 rounds with it. It's my favorite golf tech product. It's my most gifted product. I think it's fantastic, but it's not for everybody. It is not perfect. And so if you've kind of been on the fence, if you're not sure it's right for you and you wanna make sure you don't make a mistake, I'm gonna maybe help you go in a different direction. Today we're talking about five reasons you should not buy Arcos. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of reasons you should buy it. I've got a video that I will link to below where I talk about five reasons you should buy it. We've got our, our full review. I'll also link to that below. So before you make a final decision, make sure you check those out. But today we're just talking about some of the things I don't love about Arcos and some of the things you should be aware of when you're using it. Ready to go? Let's do this. All right, number one, it's gonna force you to spend a little bit more time on your phone during a round of golf. Uh, they've got the Arcos Link, which allows you to not have to use your phone, but inevitably, whether you're using it as a range finder, whether you're adding in gimme putts, whether you're adding in penalties, it's gonna force you to use your phone a little bit more, or maybe you're using your Apple Watch, uh, but it's going to force you to interact with technology more. And as someone who is a golf technology blogger reviewer person, I've gotten to the point sometimes where I'm like, you know what, I don't want more technology. I just want to walk, enjoy being in nature, enjoy playing golf, enjoy the conversation. And when you spend all this time on your phone trying to make everything work and like looking at your stats and figuring, sometimes that can get in the way. And so if you've been finding that you've been spending too much time on your phone, you're too ingrained in the technology aspect of golf, Arcos isn't necessarily going to help with that and you should maybe consider looking elsewhere. That being said, Arcos has done things like their Apple Watch app, like the Arcos Link, that have made it so you don't have to use your phone nearly as much as you used to. But you're still thinking about it, you're still using tech, and that can influence the way you experience golf. And if that's something that's been a struggle for you, then Arcos isn't going to help. All right, second reason, and this is, this is going to be, this might be the biggest one. This is probably my biggest drawback and the biggest thing that I struggle with with just the straight standard Arcos set. While you are using Arcos, you cannot use a Bluetooth speaker. So because Arcos is using the microphone on your phone, that is going to interfere with the Bluetooth signal. So what will end up happening is if you try and use this and you try and pair a Bluetooth speaker, the speaker might pair, but it's just going to be playing music directly out of your phone. There is a solution for this, however. There's essentially a little vice you put on your belt that allows you to play golf, use Arcos, without having to have your phone in your pocket. When you are using Link, you are able to pair your phone to a Bluetooth device, but the Link is an extra expense, and that's something to consider. So if you're just buying Arco Smart Sensors or Smart Grips, and you're someone who always is playing music through a Bluetooth speaker while you're playing golf, then you're going to have to choose one or the other, or you're going to have to spend a little bit of extra money to pick up the Link in order to do it. All right, third reason to maybe skip Arcos Golf is the fact there's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, I tell people you should give it at least five rounds for things to kind of become second nature, for it to become less intrusive to your round of golf. And I've talked to a lot of people, they're like, yeah, I tried it for one round, I was fiddling with my phone all the time, it didn't really work, it wasn't for me. Give it five rounds. But if you're someone who's like, you know what, I only golf once a month, I don't wanna take five rounds over five months to like get used to it, I just wanna go enjoy my golf, then it's, it may not be a good fit for you. Uh, but. Make sure if you're using it, don't just show up on the first tee and expect to like fire it up right away without any prep. You should probably give yourself like half an hour, sometime at home beforehand to install the app, to set up your account, to pair all your clubs. That way when you do get to the course and you're ready to use it for the first time, you're good to go and you get some of that other stuff out of the way early. But even with everything set up, you're still gonna have a learning curve over the course of the first couple rounds. But if you don't wanna put in the time and energy in order to get over that learning curve, then there's probably going to be a better option for your needs out there. But after five rounds, I have a feeling you're gonna be pretty confident with it and it makes all of that learning curve worth it. Fourth reason to maybe skip Arcos is because there is an annual subscription. Uh, it's approximately $155 a year. Your first year is free after you buy the sensors or the smart grips. And honestly, I think a lot of us are just kind of, you know, not into subscriptions. Every piece of hardware that comes out, it seems like it's got a subscription associated to it. And that kind of sucks. Arcos has turned into a big business. There's a lot of money that is going into improving the products, improving the software. There's a lot of people behind it, but um, as a user, especially if you're someone who doesn't golf on a super regular basis, that could be a little bit of a tough pill to swallow. So if you're not a fan of subscription fees, then well, Arcos might not be for you. All right, and the last thing you should know about Arcos and maybe a reason to skip it is because it's not perfect. No shot tracking software is. I will say, 
In over half of my rounds, I will play a full round with Arcos and it will nail everything. I might have to add a couple gimme pots or I might have to add a penalty or something, but it will track every single shot. But every once in a while, it might miss a shot or it might accidentally attribute a shot on one hole to a different hole. And that goes back to the learning curve. As long as you know what to do and as long as you've spent the time to learn how to use the app, fixing those issues is super easy. But like any piece of tech, it's not necessarily going to be 100% perfect all the time. And that's just something you should be aware of. Arcos is closer to being perfect than any other shot tracker I've used by a long shot, and it continues to get better. But every once in a while, you still will have the occasional issue. And and I think most people understand that, but sometimes I've talked to people that are like, I used it, it skipped a couple shots, and it threw everything off, and I'm, I'm over it. So just be aware with that and put in the time early on to learn how to use the app. So if there is an issue like that, you can fix it quickly and then move on. So there you go. Those are the five reasons that I think you might want to skip Arcos. One of those might be a deal breaker for you, or you might be thinking about this and be like, you know what? I, I know all that. I'm, I expect that. And I want the data and I want the features and the benefits that I can get from a tool like Arcos. If that's you, then uh, you can use our coupon code that is linked below for 15% off. I will get a small commission, but you're going to save some money. Everybody wins. Um, I know I talked about some of the negative things I don't like about Arcos here, but truly, honestly, I am the biggest fan of Arcos, despite those hiccups, despite those limitations. I use it pretty much every full round of golf I'm playing when I'm not reviewing some other product that's going to get in the way of that. Um, like I said, over 300 rounds. There is no other product in golf I have played over 300 rounds with. That's how much of a fan I am. So take all that for what it's worth, but hopefully this was useful. And if one of those issues is a deal breaker for you, then you're welcome. There's a lot of other solutions out there for GPS tools, shot tracking tools, watches, and so on. So we've got plenty of other reviews on breaking80.com reviewing a lot of other products. So take a look and see if you can find something that's a better fit for you. My name's Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80, where uh, we do cool golf course and golf tech product reviews. If you got some value out of this review, you know, do subscribe, thumbs up, notification bell, do all the things. And if you're still on the fence about Arcos, then we've linked our other videos about Arcos below. So make sure you go check those out. I hope you have an excellent day and uh, we will see you on the next video. Take it easy. Peace.